<laughs> Welcome to Common Man Cocktails. I'm your host, Derek Shelburne. Today, I have a Doug with me, and we're going to do a tasting. A this Doug. Is a, a Doug with me. Yeah. There's many Dougs. I picked this one. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is kind of a sideshow. <laughs> it really is. It's a always show. a sideshow. It's always a it's, it's side it's show. It's a sideshow. Yeah. But uh, these are the Monday, Saturday type episodes. So... <laughs> This is the part I don't like. I don't remember where I got this. Um, if you sent this to me, I thank you. And let me know because I can't find the note. Uh, if you're a company who sent it to me, that also thank you. I didn't pay for this. And I'm going to review it. So that's the disclosure, right? No, I that's good. You got to do that. Um, so this is single malt whiskey. Yep. Japanese style. Yep. Who knows? So I can already smell the oak. Mm -hmm. So I'm liking that idea. Um, so we got a little a Cuba ice, which is diluted. It's nice and, and ready and mellow to go. Um, aged 12 years. I have no idea what this is supposed to taste like. So I'm going to do it. It's, I, it's, you've already had some? Yeah, I did. Um, it smells like scotch. I don't, yeah, it does. And it, it actually, amazingly enough, it tastes like scotch. It smells like scotch and honey. Yeah. Um, I don't know where it was, but I read somewhere fairly recently that Japan is is producing some really good single malt scotches. It's mellow. Yeah. Um. Ooh, I do smell the honey. Yeah, but it's it's very light. This is a good introductory mm. type scotch. I wouldn't call this stellar on the on the total flavor. No. Yeah. Hmm. I would actually. It, it, would you not expect it to be a little bit sweeter considering its aroma, mm -hmm. the, the bouquet? There's no sweetness. No. Um, maybe even a little dry back in alcohol. Very oaky. Oak, big time, mm -hmm. um, which is my, that, that's what I usually find exciting. Uh, at the same time, I don't know, I, I it's just like it has this dimension to it, but mm -hmm. it's not, it's oak. What else? I'm, I'm having a hard time getting... It, it has that scotch taste to it, mm -hmm. but I'm not getting a, a, a like a superior, like a, any any single direction besides oak. A little bit of lime, I think, but it's timid. This would be, I, I think, a good introductory to a single malt, yeah. right? Because a single malt can be driven in so many different mm -hmm. ways. This one tends to be a little more mellow oak flavor, yeah. and I think that some can go over peat, Yep. And we've talked about, you know, people in the peat, and you, you're a big peat fan. I'm a smoky peaty guy. And then there's people who are completely okay. turned off by smoking peat. So you don't have to worry about that for this. So if you're one of those people, like I had scotch, it was so smoky, it tastes like somebody put charcoal right in my mouth, not a problem. At the same time, it's also not sweet. Mm -hmm. So you're not getting any of those, like, sweet factors, which you do typically get maybe a little bit of sweetness. Mm -hmm. Not Nothing crazy. It no. does have a nice sweet aroma. It, it smells really good. So do you know the price around here anyway? I don't. I don't even know where I got it. Forget the price. Um, nice review. Yamaka, Yamazaki. <laughs> well, typically I put it in. The... <laughs> nice, nice review. <laughs> Way to have no information. I, I have absolutely no information on this. Uh, so I'm gonna guess it's uh, nobody in, in the chat room knows how much no, this is. No, they're all doing TV names versus on Doug, like Serena Doug. Oh, Alien versus Doug. Alien versus Doug. Doug. Preda Doug. <laughs> what the hell? Hunt for Doug about? October. <laughs> Because you said a Doug. Oh. <laughs> what about Dougster Hauser I paid around MD? $60 for it recently. Did you send it to me? <laughs> <laughs> so, at 60 that's a pretty good price. 60 That's bucks. about what you would expect to pay for a for good 12-year-old 12 12 old single. Yeah. yeah. Um, I, I don't... I no, guess, but I bought it. Oh, okay. I, I wouldn't <laughs> say this is the most phenomenal. I, I'm okay with it, but I, I think... I don't know. It seems like it's a little watered. Oh, someone said their local store site says forty-eight dollars, so between fifty and sixty, depending where you are. Mm -hmm. I still think it's just it's a good introductory, but I do not get a ton of different flavors. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not necessarily unimpressed. I probably wouldn't pay sixty. Mm -hmm. Forty-eight, I could do. Mm -hmm. Sixty is a little much. Yeah. But of course, that's me in my territory where. You know, you can get a, a fairly good, like a Highland malt is 75. Like if you what? get the Highland. Someone just said it was 200 there. Yeah, well, they're probably in Australia. Yeah, they're yeah. in Australia. Uh, if you get like Highland Park, you're at, at mine, I think the 16 year is <laughs> like $75. How I yeah. met your Doug. So paying 60 for a 12 year old. <laughs> I thought Doug, Doug, uh, 
Douglas Hauser MD would be. Yeah. Cool. Uh, so there you go. That is a little. You could check it out in Yamazaki. Mm -hmm. No, they're in Texas. Yamazaki is. No, oh. the person who said it was two hundred. Oh. oh. Okay. <laughs> Two and a half dollars. You know is? <laughs> yeah. In Texas? That's weird, because I've never seen these yeah. symbols in Texas. No. Um, there you go. That does not look like the Lone Star flag <laughs> state. No. Or state. Not even. Lone Star Somehow, state. Somehow, <laughs> word the Lone Star state flag. Say five times fast. Lone Star state. Lone Star state. That's actually not that bad. Sorry, that's a, that was a face for reference. Anyway. Give it a try. There you go. Again, my recommendation, if you can get it for 40 to low 50s, it's a, it's a worth a try. Oh. So go drink it up. EverydayDrinkers.com. We're teaching you how to drink. Yes! I like how you get yourself pumped up. <laughs> Every week. I'm like, all right. Game face. Game face off! We're ready to go. You didn't shave. Me? Yeah. Oh, I've been worse than this. I didn't shave either. Oh, actually, I did. My neck. I I did shave my neck a couple days ago. I, I clean it up. You, you, uh, man, manscape? Manscape. Is that kind of manscaping, even I, if it is in your penis? I, I think I it needs think so. to be around the, uh, Oh, really? Genitals. So what's it called if you do it in your face? I don't know. Shaving? Grooming. 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 Oh, yeah. It's like when you pick the flies and you eat or the, the bugs, like that's, monkeys do, I they groom? I, I think, I think that's preening. Technically. Pre oh, my bad. Pre or maybe that's what birds do. <laughs> expert, Doug, expert manscaper. Yeah, he manscapes. He drives a big truck with uh, the trailer. He brings all his <laughs> manscaping equipment. Doug equals expert manscapist. Yes. Milk is better for colored gallons. I don't. From colored gallons. That's true. Why is this so sticky? Uh, anyway, here we go. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. What are you doing up here? I don't know. Make a cocktail, so not cleaning, obviously. All right. <laughs>